And the state is calling it a big milestone. Three companies have been chosen to operate four medical marijuana dispensaries in New Hampshire. Good evening. I'm Tom Griffith. And I'm Shelley Walcott. Tonight, we're learning more about them and why they were chosen. WMUR's Mike Cronin joins us live now from Concord with more. Mike. Yeah, the state says they're now going to be working with these three companies to get them operational as quickly as possible, but a lot needs to happen between now and then, mainly picking where they will go. Medical marijuana is one step closer to reality in New Hampshire. The people who formulated this company are experts in the field, absolutely. Dr. Gary Woods is a retired orthopedic hand surgeon and on the board of directors for Temescal Wellness. It's one of three companies selected by the Department of Health and Human Services to operate four medical marijuana dispensaries throughout the state. I think we've had a lot of emotional discussion, uh, but we're trying to transition that from just the emotional component to a real scientific basis so we can see what is good and, if necessary, what is bad as well. The two other companies are Sanctuary ATC and Prime Alternative Treatment Centers of New Hampshire. Dispensary locations haven't been chosen, but they will be located in four different geographic regions of the state. Today we reached a, a huge milestone in the therapeutic cannabis program. The three companies were chosen from a pool of 14. Those applications were huge. We're talking some of them in excess of a thousand uh, pages. So we went through uh, a very, very careful selection process. Temesco Wellness and the others will now figure out where they would like to operate their dispensaries. There will be a public input process and local approval will be needed. Wood says it's been a thorough process so far and that will continue. I think it's going to be done right instead of having it just over, out in the open to, to begin with. Let's find out how it works uh, for these medical entities that have been identified. Temescal has been chosen to operate two of those four dispensaries. The state says it'll be at least another eight or nine months before they are all up and running. Live in Concord tonight, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.